are walking out to the fairy garden this is our back deck house Dathan's future workshop now it's just a lot of dang junk okay so these bits weren't out here but he's been putting them down as he goes he was unloading mulch for me to save my muscles he said so that was good there will be four of these ones this size and that'll be the new trail through and then there will be fence like where the wheelbarrow is with another little um, Arbor. Is that what it's called? I think so. And then, oh, somebody's spreading the cow poopy. I can smell it. Um, another little arbor. That's all grapevine, you guys. Oh, it looks so amazing. It's so amazing when it all blooms and it's all leafy. I don't see. Oh, there she is. This is Mama Robin's nest. Look at She's up in that tree yelling at me. I know. I know. I'll be quick. I promise. So, I've been trying to kind of not make her mad. Some beautiful yellow tulips. So, this. Oh, my God. So much weeding. Okay. I've got to do a lot of weeding out here. But I've been trying to put it off because she gets so upset. Do you see her? I know, I know it's very upsetting. I know it's very upsetting. Um, so I'm going to pull, 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 pull everything. And see this one used to have a wood bit. It's long gone. Oh my goodness. And my rhubarb's over there. And this is just all grapevine. I kind of think <laughs> they didn't know what they were getting into when they planted it. But it's okay because the bunnies love the leaves. Um, and so do the deer. And the grapes are good. And then my rhubarb is over there. So... It should be beautiful all planted, right? It's just a lot of work, Stacy. And I don't know why she had her little cage built around that. Dathan's going to work on, like, strengthening up all my posts. But the main problem is, I mean, now that grapevine's all the way over there. Like, it's everywhere. Whew, and it's pulling down, you know, the stuff they've added to try to trellis it up. So he's going to help me with that part because look at that poor, that poor pen, fence pole is like, help, the grapes taken over. But it is beautiful when it all comes in. So it'll be nice. I mean, and she literally, you know, left the food in the ground. <laughs> and there's our little bird nest. Oh my God, the babies are in it, you guys. Can you see their little beaks? Oh, hi, babies. Oh, we won't bother you. You'll be flying in no time. No time at all. But we do have to keep the gate shut. Or the deer will go in there and obliter obliterate my, um, my rhubarb. And that's a, that's a fake hydrant. It's just for looks. So... Last year, Dathan planted, yeah, here, I can see little bits of stuff. I had him move over from the old house. So hopefully, you know, 
hopefully stuff will be coming back, right? It's okay. You can come back. I won't bother you. So there we go. And Willow tried to do some tomatoes last year. But we had such a drought, they just didn't do anything. And now, he'll have to get a couple layers of, couple loads. Maybe one more of mulch. I don't know. And then at least two-ish of soil to be filling these in. Like where it's laid with mulch and weed block is where he'll build on top of it. And then the fence will be stretched out. And we'll put a cute little sitting area in there. And it'll be garden and lots of flowers. So... Super excited. These, all these trees over here, you guys, are fruit trees, plums, apples. She has a ton of them planted. Uh, the deer, <laughs> like you can see on this one, they've already been working this year. They love all these little sprouty bits. They just eat them right up. It's okay. I don't mind, you guys. I don't mind. Anything I grow, I assume is to be shared with the wildlife so there we go that's your tour that's all flowers up around there too so that stuff she had planted and hopefully I can kind of add to it and adjust it oh this mulch smells so good it smells better than the cow poop tell you that all right guys have a good one